All right, you guys. So today I am doing a general collective reading for those of you who are in need of a clarification reading about someone who you've been actually having in question about you. Okay. Whether this is an ex, a co-worker, an ex-lover, a friend, a friend of me, a family member, a cousin, wife, ex, whatever. If you have been wondering exactly what's been going on with them and how they feel about you and how they really, really, truly um, want to come at you, then this video is for you, okay? Shout out to Firewitch Tara because she created this deck called haters exposed and i have been literally waiting by the doorstep for this motherfucking deck okay shout out to her she's amazing she's gifted she's talented and her energy is fire as fuck okay so go ahead and follow her if you haven't already um yeah so let's go ahead and get started you guys so this is for anybody who was watching this video i was going to dedicate this video to the aquarius but I feel like the Aquarius Collective have an entirely different message that Spirit wants them to know, which may also still include hater energy, but we're not going to just focus on that. But today, this video is about what your hater has to say about you, how what their feelings are towards you, and what are they doing to try to stop your flow so that you can pre further prevent it from happening and so you can further avoid this connection with them. Whatever comes out in the reading... Please take it how it resonates and leave the rest. And then, yeah, let me know how it resonates in the comments below. I'm here. Use me at your leisure, okay? So thank you, Spirit, for blessing me with the opportunity to read. For those of who are watching this video, please protect the energy of these spreads at all costs and to provide nothing but the honest truth. Thank you, Spirit, all right? So... <clears throat> Your haters, if you are watching this collective, Spirit is saying that your haters will try to convince you to give up on whatever you are doing at this time. This person could be having thoughts about trying to slow you down. Um, this person could be trying to manipulate energies to try to slow you down and make you feel unmotivated. So if you've been feeling mot uh, unmotivated, depressed, and kind of like stuck it's an energy coming your way that is trying to convince you to stop doing what you're doing because they don't want you to further your abilities. This person is trying to cause you paranoia. This person has been spying on you, watching you, and is trying to send you energy to try to make you go nuts, try to make you go crazy and overthink shit when really you're not. You're actually very intelligent and... um you are actually showing up here as somebody who is threatened uh you're showing up as someone who um threatens their hustle and their finances this card says their finances will perish and i feel like they tried to send you a spell to stop your money from coming in three two one so that means three two one is all about the countdown okay three two one this shit finna be over for them so yeah so your haters are watching your money flow, watching how much money you could be possibly making, or just watching how much support you get on your platform, whether you are a tarot card reader yourself, an energy healer, light worker, or a nail tech, a nail artist, um, a hairdresser. I'm just trying to call out um, names of like services that people, you know, can actually watch and see how you, you know, do your business. But if you are in a service-based business, this person is definitely eyeing you and how you are doing your shit. Um, the next thing that this person, uh, that spirit wants you to know about this person is that they don't know how to communicate in a healthy way. So their words could come off in a very harsh, very inappropriate manner. This person could be very illiterate at times and actually don't know how to mind their words about other people. Therefore, I feel like in the past, you probably even had to correct them about something that they've said or like, co like not correct them, but like put them in check about something in the past that they could have said that just caused a little bit of confusion or a lot of confusion fusion within your friend group or your family home life um spirit is saying that there is an ex that is hella jealous of you because you're doing way better than ever so that is specifically for someone who has an ex for sure last but not least we have someone here who is 
basically copying off of your energy they are you it, it shows me that you are spiritual therefore they are also trying to become spiritual as well but they're fake as fuck like they can't even they can't even reach the potential that you have as a spiritualist look it they low-key want to be you so yeah this person is definitely eyeing you healers manifestors star seeds tarot readers okay psychics um, oh, look it. They're telling you that you're fake. They, this person could even be telling other people that you don't have abilities, that you don't even, that you don't have psychic intuition or that your readings are not adding up. They don't be making sense. Like they try to really put a bad name, a bad rep on your name. And they're jealous of the energy that you carry for sure. Like this is definitely, it's definitely giving you are a boss ass bitch or nigga. And this person is very envious of the energy that you carry that others support. Okay. What else is it that spirit wants you to know concerning your future regarding this person? Spirit is saying to walk away, detach yourself. I feel like you've been disappointed for a while now about this connection with this person. It's time to move on from this person because this person really isn't giving you what you deserve. This person could be in a lower spiritual ranking than you because I feel like they're doing very poor in terms of their financial, their material gain, their health. And of course, we're not, and I feel like you are the type of person that don't like to look down on people. But if this person is really bringing out the worst in you, meaning they're not bringing out the, the high vibrational energy in you and you've countless of times sacrificed your high vibrations for their low vibration, spirit is saying to walk away because it doesn't make sense to stick around somebody who is always going to throw obstacles your way. And you, and I feel like some of y'all have constantly had to throw money at them too. Like you had to borrow them a hundred dollars here and there maybe even a couple hundred thousand uh that might sound like a lot of money for somebody but i'm hearing a couple thousand dollars um some of you guys have really went almost spiritually bankrupt for this person because this person just could not handle their bullshit they couldn't handle their own shit um i'm also seeing instability with this person so this person is just like it's like the more that they try to attack you, the more that it, that their attacks cripple them and not you. So I also feel like too moving forward, you do need to reach uh reach out to your person more. Talk start. Some of you guys may need to have a um. Ooh, okay, yeah, please don't invite them to your wedding. That's what Spirit just said. Please do not invite them to your wedding. If you are planning a wedding, if you're getting married very soon, like this year or next year, um, please do not invite them there because they will try to intentionally bring, uh, they will try to sabotage the ceremony. That's what I'm hearing from some of you guys. I'm also saying that a lot of you guys, this person could have even tried to interfere with your relationship with your person intentionally to try to bring the two of you down. Spirit is saying that they're making plans on actually moving you away physically. Like you may even have to relocate for another opportunity or for, you know, something that come up. But it just makes sense because you are actually heading out of, of, of a chapter in your life where you know, in a low, from a location that really does not serve you anymore. Spirit is asking you to look forward to the momentum. There's going to be an increase in momentum for you, collective. This person, who, what else? Okay, please describe this person because I'm hearing someone is going to want to want more description yeah so this person sees you as a very happy go lucky individual they could have always highlighted how happy and joyful you are this person could have really described you as a very positive light like they actually i'm not gonna lie to you this person in the past could have been very very like supportive or like I should say fake supportive because how can you really genuinely support somebody and you don't like them now? But I feel like they described you to other people as, oh, okay, Spirit just told me the message. Spirit is saying that you would never, you would never be fully aware of who this person was because of your light. Like you never really like, you always, always saw the good in them and you always gave them excuses when other people told them that they weren't shit. Yeah. The so spirit is talking about that. This person is definitely somebody that you could have had history with or children with, with the six of cups here. You could have had even known them since you were a little, a little kid. Yeah. You got the, uh, the notification popping over when I said that too. So you may know this person since you were a little kid or have children with them or have had a child with them. You could have trusted this person too. Like nine, four, nine just showed up. 
this person could have been very insecure. It's like you kind of had to dim your light for them because there were moments where you could have overdressed or even underdressed. And this person kind of like, like you could have dressed your part for something, but they kind of overdressed or underdressed for it. And they were very insecure about that. This person is showing up to be a very petty person, a petty individual. This person could actually be a fast talker too. Like how I'm talking right now, I'm picking up an energy of somebody who was a fast talker. Doesn't mean that every fast talker is a bad, you know, is bad or have bad energy or, but what I'm saying is to, to describe how this person is, this person, when they're around you, they talk very fast and they really can't really get their words out sometimes because they be kind of juggling in their head about how to act around you because they know what they've said and done behind your back. Mm. They could speak in slurs sometimes too. And I feel like they get drunk a lot. All right, so this person, two of wands energy, spying on you, watching you, moving forward. I feel like they're planning something serious behind your back. I feel like um, I feel like you've actually helped them in a, so many ways to get out of their comfort zone as well. Like, you really, truly helped them. And it's really sad that they're actually showing up here as somebody who have stalked you, um, watched you. Uh, studied you and emotionally banked on your um psychic abilities they banked on your emotional uh potential like your intuitive eye like i feel like they always came to you for advice if they knew if they knew you were a tarot card reader they always came to you for advice they're very infatuated with your gifts and infatuated with your spirit and how lifeful and playful you are as a person and they banked on that and they try to receive as, as much information as they could from you before they could try to like get away with their bullshit and their lies now, last but not least, we got the full card. It came up again. I feel like you're going to have a fresh start after you cut this person off. I feel like your potential is boundless and it can't be limited by other people's limited beliefs. And this person was bringing forward a negative energy that was going to bring you down. And Spirit said, no, fuck that. We're not going to remove this person because you have a new project, venture, or skill coming up that is going to really bring your finances to the next level. And Spirit wants you to really get out there more like make more friends meet more people you're meant to inspire others and be very self-assured within yourself i feel like you you are showing up in this person eyes as a very strong independent person too so this person may not even be all that um all that like they may not even be all that um courageous to even confront you about anything i feel like if you were to confront them they would shrink like significantly like they know your power they know your strength and sometimes i feel like they try to stay on your good side as much as possible because you do have a light about yourself where you're not even about you're not even the con confronter type i feel like you will if you have to but it's like you're not the type of person that will like really worry about the little shit like this person worries about the little shit when it comes to you. So I feel like when it comes to you and this person, um, if you do confront them, they're going to shrink. Like, period. Because they're not. I don't. I don't see this person being the type of person that will really actually turn up. You know what I'm saying? Especially um, based on the things that they could have said and done behind your back. But outside of that, we're gonna talk about what what is coming your way that you should know about. Okay, so that we can understand, like, if you cut this person off, what will be coming your way? Spirit, if, if my collective cut this person off or these people off, what will be coming their way? Or what will be coming their way regardless, but in a faster, at a faster pace or a more magnified? A lot of clarity. I'm hearing truth as well. You're going to be getting a lot of clarity. That's what's coming your way once you cut this person off. A bunch of prosperity. You know, people don't understand this, but when you cut a person off or if you get rid of something in your house or you throw something away or sell it or whatever, sometimes it's best to throw something away than to sell it because that energy still exists in, someone, in someone's household and it can actually come back like around so depending on what it is i would advise you to like set the intention to throw shit away if you know that like the energy is actually damaged in the in that object or that item um good luck is coming your way this person blocked a lot of your blessings from coming through um and i feel like there was some shit that you could have won or some opportunities that you could have taken advantage of that um and this person simply by just being in your life blocked that opportunity i simply do not believe that anybody have the power to really hold someone back i mean block every opportunity that comes up 
to a person way, but I feel like they're just their existence in their in your life, just their presence alone can really slow things down for you. But them alone, they can't really I don't believe that anybody has have any power to really do some shit unless it's physical. You get what I'm saying? Like I just feel like this person, whoever this is, that tried to um that were jealous of you and, and basically try to send shit your way. Honestly, just their presence alone was just the only reason why some shit just didn't fall through. And when you cut them off, blessings galore. Here it comes, okay? You see, all my notifications are coming in right now all of a sudden. So we're on the right track here. Your confidence is going to be returned. I feel like this person really tried to duel your light and really, like, really tried to throw blow ball shots at you like they try to play mind games and make you feel incompetent or not good enough or they even made you feel like you weren't beautiful enough to be around them or to be associated with them or to be in their friendship or their circle so what's coming to you is more confidence good luck prosperity and your spirit guys being able to con connect with you even more on a deeper level i feel like you're going to be able to really hear the messages from your spirit team more like your judgment your judgment on the things that your spirit guys will tell you from here on out will be a lot more clear a lot more stronger i feel like you'll be more gifted too the, mo the moment that you release them because there's just certain things that just can't come through if you have someone clouding your judgment and speaking in your ear all the time about shit that is really lowering lowering your vibration okay i hope you heard that Sometimes messages just can't come through from spirit because somebody's in your ear. Regardless of what you guys are talking about, this person can be lowering your energy levels, lowering them to the point where you can't hear the noise, you can't hear the words that your spirits guys are trying to tell you. And last but not least, some of you guys could have been in the process of purchasing a home or buying yourself a home or making yourself feel at home in a location. I feel like some I feel like some of y'all have finally gotten settled or will be getting settled down very soon once you cut this person off. And I feel like you will be restoring a lot of peace, harmony, and blessings into your household because you let this person go or kick them out. Okay? Because some of y'all could have could be actually allowing this person to live with you as well. So once you get rid of this person, kick them out or to do what you got to do with them, I feel like you're going to restore balance and peace in your home and your environment. And I feel like you could be relocating to a new place that you can actually call home. So, yeah, this is definitely for you if you're watching this video up, to, up until this point. So, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel drawn to go ahead and watch this video. And, yeah, I look forward to better serving you guys. Bye-bye.